tap the bell icon to never miss out on unique stories from 101 India. I'm Karan, chef, traveler, adventurer, and foodie. I've traveled all over the world and learned many international cuisines. Now it's time to come home to roost. So be my meal mate on my great Indian gastronomical adventure. Next stop, Goa. India's party central is more than just beaches, bikinis and beers. To find out what that more is, I'm making my way through the lush greenery of Kankona in South Goa. Weaving a meandering path through the Kotigao Reserve, I finally reach Badem village. The Velips are the original inhabitants of the Konkan coast and around 4,000 of them still preserve the traditions and culture of their ancestors. So I'm here to meet Devidas, who's really the key to unlocking the Velips. And my gastronomical journey starts here on this completely unpaved path. So let's go find Devidas because I'm hungry. Did he uh, Devidas ka ghar pata? Oh, my dad, this is the English. Back. Back. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Devidas, Devidas! I'm going to go to the house. Devidas? Hi. Hello, hi. How are you? I'm fine. Nice fine. to meet hi. you. Yeah, hi. Thank you. So much time it took to search for you. Yeah, you know that? Thank you. Thank you oh for my, my village. No. My house. Welcome. Thank yeah. you so okay. much. Yeah, okay. Sit, sit. Yeah. He welcomed me to his village with a traditional welcome drink. A tea called Kasai. A refreshingly sweet and hot brew that jump-started my taste buds. Wow, you can smell Tulsi. Yeah, actually, like actually not a particular kind of plant. There's so many medicine plants in the different, forest, different. especially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'll I'll drink a first time? Yeah, first time. <laughs> yeah, Ever. Okay. I've never drunk this before. <laughs> Very nice. It's amazing. It's superb. My heightened taste buds were just the thing I needed to fully appreciate the welcome snack. Alu and gurulo. Fat-free and 100% organic, Hitting all the wellness sweet spots. It is a crab. Crab, yeah. In our specially um, tribal community, mostly not a user of special market food. Market food. Yeah. So you don't only whatever you grow, yeah. you eat. Yeah. The rich texture of the gurulo, when combined with the coconut-based alu sabzi, is like a little taste bomb exploding on my tongue with each bite. We have something here that's cooked with no oil, no butter, and no cream. But still, you know. It's, it's emulsified, it stays, and it's just, you know, it's, it, it does not smell fishy, and I just can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. I loved it. Now, okay. I want to know who cooks your food every day. Yeah, my mother is cooking it. Yeah. Wow. I think, you know, that's why I'm here. That's exactly what I've come. Sometimes, you know, all the best chefs aren't in restaurants, they're in your home kitchens, they're in villages. So, let's, can we yeah, go okay, see sure, your mom's sure, kitchen? Sure. Okay, sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. It never ceases to amaze me when I've struck gold. So this is your, your yeah, home kitchen? Yeah, it, it wow. is our kitchen. And uh, each kitchen is uh, our uh, 80, 90 years old kitchen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Am I, how old is the pot? This pot is 10 years back. Wow. Top. And the same pot and you clean and you yeah. season and make sure. That's absolutely amazing. Imagine 10 years worth of flavor condensed into one pot. I want to learn from your mother. You do it, you can learn it, you can learn it. She's saying she's not used to seeing a boy in the kitchen. She said ready. Yeah? Yeah. Of course, then awesome. After extracting a promise to get my hands dirty with some traditional velips cooking, I can barely wait for tomorrow. Good morning, guys. As you know, Life in the village starts early in the morning and as you can see, I'm the last one to wake up. So, you know what they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Life in the village is simple and begins early. 
and what better way to begin than in the kitchen preparing some traditional breakfast fare? Good morning, Devidas. Good morning, Ayi. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing here? What are we doing now? Now, now making a bakri. 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 Yeah. And what is bakri? Bakri is our, our traditional food, and we are making as a so and so many years back. Oh wow! Yeah. Your grandfather. And yeah. Your grandfather. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. And yeah. you? It is a atta. This is atta. Yeah. And what else? Yeah. With water. Yeah, with water. So let's get started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can start it. Pande. And now, banana leaf. पहले पहले पानी का छिलका लगा दो पन्ने को अभी देखा दे ऐसे दोनों दोनों साइड में पकड़ के ऐसा 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 पकड़ के बनाना लीफ बाकरी रेडी टू ईट इन नो टाइम समथिंग क्वाइट यूनिक एंड आई कॉन्ट वेट टू वर्फ इट डाउन नॉट लाइक चपाती एट ऑल On a full stomach, me and the Velips men set out to gather the makings of dinner. The Velips mainly cultivate cashew as a means of livelihood, but they also grow everything they eat by themselves. They have the biggest organic food mart in their backyard. A cucumber? Take it out. Oh. Yeah, they're very nice. No? Super. Yeah. The traditional name is gosare. Gosare. Yeah. You want to this? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now that the greens are taken care of, it's time to grab some sweet fresh water fish. The velips have the smallest fishing nets I've ever seen, and their style is simple. Wait for the fish, drop your net, and dinner's almost ready. There it is. Look at that. It's such a it's such a rustic and rural way of doing it, but you know this is what helps these people survive, and you know this is what feeds them. Ah, fuck. Yep, that looks like we're gonna have a good meal. The Velips are actually a very progressive people. Not only do the men hunt and gather, they also prepare what they've caught. And now it's time for me to learn how to make some fish curry velip style. So uh, this is the velip's traditional dish. Yeah. Specially tribal people we are doing a this type of curry. Okay. First, make a paste out of haldi, grated coconut and red chilies. Then add water to the paste and bring to a boil. Add the cleaned fish, simmer and after 15 tear-filled minutes, get ready for a kick-ass meal. Okay, now is it ready? Taste it. Now, okay. Done. You know, it smell. Yeah. No. Yes, yeah, complete. Super. While the main dish was the men's forte, for something sweet, it's the Velips aunties that I turn to. Ready, auntie? Ready. Ah, full ready. Oh, yes. So, David, ask what are we making right now? Uh, now uh, we are doing a sweet dish. Do the good dish. Oh, boya! Jaldi, jaldi, kara. <laughs> okay, auntie, sorry. Is that going? Ah, okay, okay. With auntie's watchful eye over me, I was ready to make some dudia good shit. Eh, mate, mate, ekhi kai kar raha hai? Ye mate, aaj se baarik se nahi sa, so kar raha hai, so. First, grate the cucumber. Then, add some grated coconut. then some all natural sweetener jaggery and finally some rice to bind it all together look at the color ha wow already now already uh, cook is already done very super first class aunty very good very good So thanks to Devi Das and his entire family I've learned so much about the Velips their culture their cuisine and more importantly I've learned that a family that eats together stays together Bon appetit everyone let's eat 
Sitting there on the damp ground eating fish, I felt like a velip myself. It wasn't just about sharing a meal with them, but partaking in their culture which has been preserved over decades. Though I leave tomorrow, I will take a little part of the velips with me, not just in my stomach, but in my heart. Thank you for watching this episode of Wild Wild Chef. If you like the journey and the food that you saw, hit like and comment. And for more awesome journeys like this one, subscribe to 101 India on YouTube. And for more updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.